What's up guys, Matt here, and today we are back in Car Mechanic Simulator, and I figured we'd just head on over to the auction house, I guess? I don't think I have any barns right now, nope. Do need to go find some more barn locations, but for now I figure we'll go head over to the auction and see what we can drag home. Well, this is quite interesting, I found uh, Ken Block's Hoonicorn, the version 2, with the uh, big old turbo sticking out here. Now I have done version one. Oh, yeah, it's it's crusty and rusty. That's for sure. I have done version one, but uh, I would love to do version two. Yeah, I'm really stoked on this. I really want to do version two. I think we're gonna have to make a play on this at the auction. So uh, let's go ahead and start the auction and see what see where we can get. I don't really care how much it costs. I just want it. <laughs> there we go. Not that bad. Got it down to just a hair under twenty thousand dollars. Can't complain. I'm excited. I got version two of the Hoonicorn to go with my version one. And we have returned to our garage, and I believe our Hoonicorn should be, and it is indeed sitting outside. I am very excited for this. It's actually more complete than most of the salvage auction cars, it seems like. So let's send it on over to the uh, car wash and get it all washed up because we've got a lot of dust and grime on this one. So let's go ahead and start the car wash. Let's see what we got under here. That is definitely gorgeous. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. All right, back to the garage you go. And while I'm here, I'm going to take the Richard Petty car out and put something else in its place. There we go. Don't these two look so good together? So yeah, we've done version one if you want to check that video out. It wasn't that long ago, but now we get to do version two. And if you're watching this video, you're probably like me and love ken block we'll get that engine cover off of there there's not much left in there uh and it is sad that his passing we lost him way too soon and uh rip to the goat so i'm not even gonna bother trying to drain the oil since there is no oil pan we'll just go ahead and start pulling the drive train out get the drive shaft off of here so that way we can rebuild what's left of this engine which isn't much there we go drive shaft out Time for the gearbox. Surprise, there's no stuck bolts on this one. And the engine's pretty much ready to come out. There's really not much of it left. It's just a simple block and a crank, I think, is all that's in there. We'll go ahead and pull it out with the uh, engine crane. Actually, I don't even think I need the engine crane. Then we can take out the crankshaft and probably just take the block right out. And indeed, there it goes. <laughs> just like that. While we're here, let's go ahead and hit it with the welder. Move it over to lifter A, there it is, and use equipment, yes. That's gonna straighten out quite a bit of things and it make it look much nicer all around. And send that back. Go ahead and detail the interior as well. Now, unlike the engine and the drivetrain, the suspension looks actually pretty complete. So we can go ahead and start pulling this off. We'll get the wheel off first. And we've got one stuck bolt there and off it comes onto the brake caliper out it goes brake pads get that front brake disc off of there we definitely need to use oh yeah all-wheel drive duh definitely need to use some uh upgraded brakes for this thing because it's gonna move that's for sure if it's anything like that version one over there <laughs> i know it is i mean come on it's the unicorn Get that front axle knuckle cover off. Yeah, this is all pretty complete here, surprisingly, for a salvage auction car. Usually don't get this lucky. Hopefully we can repair quite a few of these parts here. Let's go ahead and get the shock assembly out. There it goes. Get our sway bar front end link. Off it goes. And bottom suspension arm. Needs quite a bit of lube here. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments which version of Hoonicorn is your favorite. I don't know, for me, I'm partial to the first one just because it blew my mind when it first came out. I was just floored by it. But, I mean, they're all pretty amazing. Let's get this rubber bushing out because I know I'll forget it while I'm over here. And that one up there as well. All right, that's that side done. On to the other side. Now we can get to the steering rack and our sway bar. Remove the two little rubber bushings. And we can drop this K member here. Get that. There we go. 
And we can take that out. You can get this front differential. And it is gone. That is the front torn apart onto the rear. Get this wheel off. Another stuck bolt there. And on this car, the rear end is quite a bit like the front. Look at that. And get the brake pad. In the real car, it had the whole cantilever suspension stuff that was really cool. But you can only, I mean, this is a mod. You can only do so much with the mod. But yes, this is a, a close representation, I would say. Get this rear wheel hub off of here. There we go. Rear axle knuckle cover. Upper suspension arm. Shock assembly. You can remove the lower suspension arm. Yeah, there's quite a bit missing back here. It's interesting. And that's that side done. On to the other side. Disassembly completed. Let's go ahead and pull apart the body. Because it's about time to get to figuring out what we need to replace and what we can repair. We'll take out the front door here. Take off anything we can take off that might need to get repaired. Let's go ahead and take the right tail light. You can see there's some pretty deep scratches on the rear bumper. As to be expected. Get that rear window out of there. So yeah, there's the cantilever suspension in the rear right there. Get this front door off of here. And then I believe, oh, we got fenders, front bumper. What do we got left here? Windshield, looks like it is missing. So we don't even have to worry about that. I believe that's everything, all taken apart. We'll go ahead and grab the seat and the steering wheel. And that's it. That looks so cool, it being down to its bare, bare shell. That is so cool. I love that look, something about it. Start pulling apart the whole shock assembly. Go ahead and fix these brakes, mill them down to just like new. And if we're not going to use them, at least we can sell them for a little bit of a profit there. Because I do plan to use the performance brakes. Time to start repairing some stuff, and I'm not really usually good at this while talking, so I'll probably just go through this. It's going to take some time anyways for me to get out. See, I do it right there to get all this done uh, anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to stop talking so I can be a little more accurate at this. My brain only works one way, it seems like. So I'll see you guys when this is completed. I have repaired the parts that I could and replaced the parts that I couldn't. And I say we start with building up this engine, starting with the block. Let's flip this thing over so we can throw in our crank and pistons. Start from there, might as well, right? Alrighty, so we get our crankshaft installed right there. All right, and then we can do our crankshaft bearing caps. There's one, two, and then we'll get our third in here. And pretty much everything I got, go figure, I bought performance. Anything performance that I could buy, I did buy. So let's get these pistons installed. Now we can put on our oil pan. Right there. And while it's still flipped over, might as well throw on our oil filter. We could go ahead and do the alternator and power steering pump before we flip this thing back over. There's our power steering pump. On it goes. All right, we're good to flip it back over and build out. Let's go with, uh, go ahead and put on, put in the camshaft performance, of course, fuel filter. Let's build out the front of the engine before we go to the sides. Why not do it that way? Put in our ignition distributor, cam gear, be able to rotate that rotor right there. I leveled up. How about that? It's always nice. Then clip B. And can't forget that clip. Perfect. Onto the timing chain. Timing chain cover. And we'll be ready for the crankshaft pulley. I'm pretty stoked to have version two of the Hoonicorn, if you can't tell. <laughs> Get our water pump on, water pump pulley, and we'll be ready for our serpentine belt B. 
and A. And we should be ready for our fan. Indeed we are. And on it goes. Perfect. Now we can go to the engine head performance as well. You'll notice I didn't do uh, a lot of the upgrade to the performance parts. I just typically don't do that because then it just tends to be over the top in my opinion. <laughs> but this car, for this car, yeah, it did, it did have it crazy, does have crazy amount of horsepower. That's for sure. Get our push rods in. Because the whole going through the scrap and then upgrading and all that. I just like to build the cars, man. That's really what it is. And let's get our rocker arms in. I think we're ready for, let's go ahead and do the exhaust manifold. Beautiful, shiny, stainless headers right there. We can do our spark plugs. One, two, three, and four. We're ready for the head cover. Get all these bolts. Okay, that's that side done. Ready for the other side. And this side is built. We are ready for the intake manifold. All nice and polished. We can put our carb on. Then from there, I say, let's throw on the wires Might as well. Love the red wires into our air filter base, our performance air filter, and then the air filter cover. And I believe we are complete. Indeed, I'll worry about the uh, flywheel and drivetrain once we get this beautiful engine into the car. That is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous engine. Let's uh, take it. Go. Put it in the Hoonicorn version two. All right, engine crane, install. There we go. That can go back. And look at that. Looks so beautiful in there. Interesting factoid for those who may not know, any engine that is behind the front drive line is technically a mid-engine car. So the Hoonicorn is technically a mid-engine car. Fun little fact. So while we're in the engine bay, we'll go ahead and do our power steering reservoir. Our brake master cylinder. Let's take care of the cooling stuff. We'll get the radiator. Radiator fan housing with the fan. And I believe, oh, we got coolant reservoir right there. And go ahead and install our $10,000 ECU because it's a type A stage three. And in it goes. We are ready for suspension. Let's start with the front. Go ahead and start. We'll go ahead and put in our cross member. There we go. And get our rubber bushings in, of course. That one and reach over here, grab this one. In it goes. And we're ready for the steering knuckle. Let it sit out there and float like that. Might as well throw in our steering rack. We're gonna need it. Our differential there and our sway bar. Let's get this all connected together. Upper suspension arm, 20 rubber bushings on this car. 20. I think that's the most. That's the record so far for me, at least, for one car. Get the lower suspension arm connected along with the wishbone shock absorber, the just shock assembly, I call it. Front end link B. On it goes. And then we want our inner tie rod connected to our outer tie rod. And we'll just work our way out from here. We get our front wheel hub and get went with the uh, carbon ceramic disc brakes. We get our wheel hub bearing in here. We are ready for our front drive axle. Beautiful all wheel drive brake pads, brake caliper. And that should, once we get this tightened down, be it. Yep, ready for the wheels. Okay, on to the other side. Onto the back of the car. Go ahead and mount our steering knuckle. If you guys have any suggestions of what kind of car you would like to see me do, please feel free to 
leave it in the comments. That kind of helps me judge as to uh, what you guys like to see. Because I like it all. I, I like performance cars. I like classic cars. I like, I like it all. I like supercars. Any of that stuff. I just like cars. So yeah, if you have anything in mind, please feel free to let me know. And I'll try to get on that. And subscribe if you want to see what's coming next. Got break disc. And you can always go back and watch the original Hoonicorn video. I'd like to do all the versions at some point. Just depends on if I can find them all. Get our brake calipers. And that's pretty much going to do it for the rear. Let's go ahead and add the fuel tank while we're here. Along with the fuel pump performance, of course. Okay, on to the other side. Time to mount and balance some tires. I went with slicks for obvious reasons. This thing is gonna be, would be a tire shredder if we weren't using slicks and pretty much uncontrollable. Let's get our balancing done with the little mini. This one was way out of balance. There we go. First one done. Last tire is balanced. These are all the same. No stagger here because with an all-wheel drive car, you never want to have a, a stagger different sizes, which I like to do often if you guys are familiar. I like to play with the tire sizes and stagger them. Okay, that is installed and looks beautiful. That gold is spot on. Final tire going on. Final wheel tire combo going on, I should say. And there it is. We can now move on to the body and start putting the body together, guys. This thing is coming together. I'm getting excited to drive it, that's for sure. Let's start with the interior, install our seat and steering wheel. And that's really all there is to the interior of this vehicle, that's for sure. Okay, onto the body. Get our trunk, left tail light, right tail light. There we go, rear bumper. I love the carbon fiber. Just looks so good. Let's work our way from the back to the front, shall we? Rear window, front left door, no windows to worry about. Got little side skirts there, which are amazing. Looks so good with this car. Front windshield, version two and three. I'm excited to build version three. Front clamshell, which is the hood. Oh yeah, we gotta put our engine cover on. Will it allow us to do it? It will. Man, that looks so good. So iconic. Front bumper. Right headlight. Left headlight and the very cool carbon fiber grill for version two. Love it. Fender and front right door along with, oh, the side skirt's already there. Perfect. And I believe the body is together. I'm ready to go. Let's say we go paint this thing. I guess it'd be a wrap, but Let's go to the paint booth. It's looking so good. It even looks good like that. All right, let's see what liveries. I'm trying to remember what liveries are available on it. Of course, I'm going to use version two, but just out of curiosity. The first one, it actually paints the turbo inlets. That's cool. We've got version two. And I like that one a lot. We've got like a whiteout version, version four. I guess this is livery set four, livery set five and six, seven. We got stripes and then none. Cool. Well, we know which one we're going with. And that's it. That is it right there, man. That looks so, so good. So good. Oh, iconic. That is amazing. It's going to look so good next to the original unicorn. And here they are together and I love it. This is so awesome. Oh, let's get some fluids in this thing. Brake fluid, power steering fluid, coolant, and motor oil. And what I'm noticing as I'm pouring the motor oil is I totally forgot to put on the flywheel and transmission clutch, all that. So let's take care of that while we're at it because we're going to want to put this power down. We got our flywheel, performance flywheel that is, and performance clutch plate. And our pressure plate, there we go. 
all the bolts fasteners fastened and the clutch release bearing and we'll be ready for our I did the upgraded one because we're obviously going to need the tunable gearing for sure and then we can put our starter on and from there should just be the drive shaft and indeed it is get that guy in there four there and four there I think we're ready to roll guys all the way down to the ground let's see if she'll start often often where I find I've forgotten something oh battery in it goes I knew I'd forget something I always do let's get our clamshell back on there we go let's try this again second time the charm in we go and there it is oh yeah wow at 5300 rpm red, uh, red line That sounds good. As good as any car mechanic simulator engine sounds. Let's let us go get our alignment done. We need to get that done and then we'll get our dyno and I think we're ready to take this thing out. Obviously gonna drag race it, but also have some more fun with it. We are way out of alignment here and we are dialed in. Oh, a little too far there. We're good to go, perfect. Man, look at that thing. It just looks so good. Ah, just so good. Okay, to the dyno you go. It just looks good from every single angle. Okay, let's start our test here. Look, look, forgot these little rubber bushings. Not the first time and it won't be the last time. Uh, it's just because they're just so easy to overlook. There we go. Now let's try, <laughs> let's start the dyno. Are you sure? Yes, okay, we've got everything. Okay, factory horsepower, 1,468 with 1,800 crazy numbers, pound feet of torque. Let's see what we get here. The torque is just literally off the charts almost. And we get, let's see, 2,438 horsepower, 3,000. Oh my gosh, 69 pound feet of torque with a, a drag rating of triple nine A. I think the only thing we're going to be able to drag race is against is other unicorns would be my guess. All right. We are here at the drag event Duneway stripe raceway. Uh, we're going to do quarter mile, obviously class a except, and it looks like we do have a few. Now well, it looks like Dodge charger seven, seven, seven and unicorns Ford Mustang drag. We do have, at least it's not just all unicorns. Let's get this started. And here we go. What is that thing? That's the Dodge Charger 777. It looks very interesting though. All right, so here we go. This is probably gonna be kind of crazy. And of course the launch is insane and we're just gonna fly through the gears. Are we walking that guy? I think we are. And there it is. That is a quick quarter mile. 7.6 seconds at 206 miles an hour. Wow. Okay, we made it. We passed the first past the first bracket. Let's move on to the next. And indeed, we're going up against the unicorn. Let's see if we can get it. Just go through these first few sets of gears so quickly. Looks like we got him. Indeed we do 7.3 at 212 miles per hour versus an 8.7 at 189. These are insane numbers. Only, only the unicorn though. Okay. Onto the bracket that sets the final. This is usually where I don't do so well. And we're going up against Ford Mustang drag. There it is over there. It looks serious. Wish we could see them better. I wish there's a lot of improvements. Oh, here we go. Looks like we got it. I don't see it. We got it. He ran a 9.5 at 184. Still respectable. But man, I had a terrible reaction time on that one. Was still able to get it 7.3 at 213. On to the final to take it all. We're going up against Ford Mustang Drag again. There it is. We get right hand lane this time. See if I can improve that. Oh, I red lighted. 
made it all the way to the end and I red lighted. I was trying to, I was just talking about see if we can get that reaction time down. Okay, I'm back. I could not let that red light define me. We were in the final against the Dodge Charger 777. Here we go. Let's not red light this time. Here we go. That thing looks evil. Alright, here it is. No red light. Bounce it off the limiter a little bit. We still got him. We won the final. Nice. But it's the unicorn, so yeah. Payout of 11,250. I love you, unicorn. We are here at the speed track. I added some gears to the transmission. Let's see what we can do as far as top speed goes with our lovely unicorn. Let's go. That thing just rockets off. Sure this is gonna we're gonna run out of runway before we run out of gears <laughs> we're in seventh eight nine 300 miles an hour and i'm gonna try to stop this thing and oh we did it <laughs> 304 miles per hour and i was still able to stop it this thing is just unbelievably amazing I'd like to have more fun with this car with the ESC off. Does anybody know how to turn the EFC off? See, it's kicking on when I'm trying to have some fun with this thing. If you know, let me know in the comments. I, I googled it and looked around and looked and looked and couldn't find anything. But man, 304 miles per hour. Will it J-turn beautifully? 304 miles per hour. <laughs> That's definitely the fastest I've gone in Car Mechanic Simulator. This is, this is amazing. I'd love to do some all-wheel drive donuts, but ESC keeps kicking on. Man, I wish there's a way to turn that off. I'm sure there is. I'm sure it's easy, and I'm sure I'm overlooking it. Man, this thing is just too fun. Absolutely insane. I love it with those turbos sticking out of the hood like that. Just so good. So good. Well, here they are outside looking so good together. Usually this is where I sell the car for a profit, but course i gotta keep the unicorns together we we would have a profit of 149,664 credits we bought it for 20,000 the sell value is 168,727 absolutely incredible but worth it to me to keep these two together and do all the versions in the game and have them together if you made it this far in the video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. It definitely helps the videos out for sure. And if there's anything you'd like to see, leave it in the comments with any type of cars and stuff that you would like me to do. I would be happy to oblige because again, in my eyes, you can't go wrong. I love all cars, any kind of cars, so I don't mind a bit. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.